So let's try the square root of 7. Let's see how close we can approximate or estimate a value for this irrational expression. Um, I know that 2 times 2 equals 4, and I know that 3 times 3 equals 9. 4 is less than 7, and 9 is surpassed 7. So that's telling me that this value falls somewhere in between the square root of 4 and square root of 9. Um, so let me write that as a statement. So square root of 4 is less than square root of 7, which is less than square root of 9, which means that if I only look at the positive solutions, I have 2 is less than square root of 7, which is less than 3. So square root of 7 falls somewhere between 2 and 3, but I don't know if it's closer to 2, closer to 3. I don't know what the decimal expansion is yet. So what I could start doing is, since we know 3 has passed has surpassed the value of square root of 7, we're going to go with 2, and we're going to start with um, adding a, some, some tenths uh, to 2. So what if I were to do 2 point, just starting somewhere, 2.4. And again, I'll use the calculator just to speed up the process. If I did 2.4 times itself, 2.4, that would get me 5.76. That's not really all that close. I think I can get closer if I change the 4 tenths to maybe something like 6 tenths. Let's try that. So let's cross this out, keep track of what we're trying, and let's try 2.6. So 2.6 times 2.6, which equals 7.76. Now I'm getting closer to 7. I wonder what would happen, though, if I try 2.7. It might be, it might go over the square root of 7, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not sure yet. It might go over 7. Let's see, 2.7 times 2.7 equals 7.29. Yes, it did pass the um, 7. So that means that if I am only to stay with tenths, then 2.6 is the most accurate representation for square root of 7. It's still not the exact value for square root of 7, but it's pretty accurate if I, it is accurate if I stay with just tenths. But I would like to go to the hundredths place, and let's see if we can find the digit that most gets us closest to the value of 7. So we, let's do that in different colors. So if we have 2.6, what number should we put in the hundredths place? And let's just try 5. Let's see what happens. So I have 2.65 times 2.65. That gets me 7.0225. That's pretty darn close, but it is a value that is more than 7. So I would like to bump down the hundredths and let's say, let's just try 2.64. Since 7.0225 was pretty close, I'll just go down by one hundredths. So now let's try, I'm going to clear the screen, 2.64 times 2.64. It's raining outside and we're hearing that on our roof up here. So 2.64 times itself gets us 6.9696. Okay, we're getting really close. Um, and we didn't pass 7. So if I were to stay in the hundredths place, 2.64 would be the most... Um, approximate or the most accurate value or most of the accurate um, decimal expansion that I can write for square root of 7. Um, and I'm going to try, I'm going to take this one step further and let's go to the thousands place and let's see if we can find the digit that is closest to, that brings us closer to 7. So now let's try in yet a different color. Um, let's do orange. If I did 2.64 uh, I need a uh, digit for the thousands place. Um, let's just again try five to start in the middle. And let me multiply those two. 2.645 times 2.645. That gets me 6.996025. I am really darn close. But I'm curious, since thousandths is such a small unit, I'm curious what would happen if I bumped it up. So let's do 2.646. Maybe that'll take me past 7, maybe it won't. 2.646 times 2.646. That gets me 7.00, which is, again, really close, but it's a little bit past square root of 7. So 
I definitely would have to rule that one out. And if I'm going to stick with the thousandths place, then that is where I would, um, that's the, the decimal expansion that I would write.